Hello everyone, it is Coralie D here and welcome back to Seashell's YouTube channel. So today we're actually going to be doing a video about this Seashell dry bag. So we're going to have a look at how much it can hold, what it's made of and answer some of our most frequently asked questions. So let's get straight into it. So this is how the bag would arrive when it comes through the post. It's all flat packed. As you can see, it's actually pretty big. I think it's hard to show in pictures just how much volume this has. So just for some sort of indication, I'm sitting down right now, but this bag is my full torso and my head. So it's pretty big, as you can see. So the bag is 25 liters and it is completely waterproof. It is made with 500D PVC, which makes sure that it's fully protected from the water in particular, but of all weathers. We're now going to have a little look at the smaller features on the bag. So as you can see here, there is a front pocket. Now, some people might be a bit scared thinking, how is it then waterproof? Now, as you can see here, it velcros open and this zip has another cover on top to make sure it is properly waterproof. So when you close it, that is then covered as you can see here. You then Velcro over the top and that is you good to go. So again, here, Velcro. Now you can fit quite a lot of things in this little pocket here. I'd say it's actually quite a big pocket, but we're gonna close that and get on to the next feature. So the next one would be our side mesh pockets right here. Now I love to put in a flask or a water bottle and on the other side I like to drain my swimming costume or any wet gear that I've just used. So these are re two really handy pockets for whatever you want to put in them. So now we're going to head to the back of the bag. We have a bit of padding. One, two, three, four, five, six on the back so that when you're walking or you're hike like hiking, running, cycling, stand up paddle boarding, whatever you want to do, you've got a bit of cushioning on your back, especially if you've got some heavier stuff in the bag here. So lovely padding on the back, but also it means it's a little bit more breathable with the mesh. We've then also got our straps here, made of similar material of the mesh, nice and long. We then also have a clip which comes here. So when you put it on, it clips onto the front. And then we have a pull cord that makes it shorter or longer and keeps this nice and neat with this elasticated bit here. We then have another attachment here if you want to clip anything on. And you can also put more things through here where you've got a carabiner and you would attach things to the bag. We then also got this really heavy duty handle, super, super solid. So that you can carry it this way or you can hand things off of it but it's there again so that you can carry it in a different way when we dive into here it might be quite hard to see but there is another pocket here on the back it's actually another two pockets there is a waterproof pocket that goes in right at the back and then in front of that there is a mesh pocket with another little clip so that you can hang things onto it see if you can see in there so we have the first one, which is the waterproof with the zip, just like the same at the front here. And then we have another mesh bit just here. You can see again, this waterproof zip pocket. And then just in front of it, there is also another mesh pocket here. And that goes about halfway down the bag. Then we come to being able to do the bag up. I will show you this a little bit later when we've got it full as well, but we can do it in a couple of different ways. Basically fold down the side here. So you have an option to clip on the top, if that's how you desire, or what you can do is you can actually clip these two bits down on either side here. You then have another pull string to make that tighter if you want, or you can make it, if you've got a lot of stuff in there, you wanna make it long, you've also got the space to be able to do that. So flat packed, it's 43 by 48, filled all the way up and packed down with three folds. So one, two, and an extra one, three, is 37, 50 by 16. I quite often fill mine all the way to the top and just have at least one or two all the way down to the side because I like to fit in as much as I can. 
And that's what we're gonna get into now. How much can I really fill this bag up? For me, it's like a Mary Poppins bag. This is what I would usually take with me when I'm going out for an adventure, in particular a swimming adventure. As you can see, I have the wetsuit, my swimming stuff, caps, some food, toe float, etc. So this is the typical kind of way that I would fill my bag up. Now, I quite often we'll use my bag to go to the shops, etc. But today we're gonna look at how I would fill it up when going on an adventure and see whether I can get all of this stuff in here. I'm gonna start off with the thing that I will probably be using last when it comes to getting to the water, which is probably gonna be my wetsuit. And my swimwear will end up going in the side pocket because that's where I will probably dry it off after my swim. So wetsuit is gonna go all the way to the bottom of the bag first. I'm gonna squish it down all the way to the edge. There we go. The next thing that I'm probably gonna put in is my toweling robe. The reason why I won't put my changing robe in at the moment is that it might start raining. Especially if you're in somewhere like Scotland where it rains a lot, you might wanna get this out as an actual jacket. So I'm gonna keep this in till last. So I'm gonna roll up this toweling robe because this is such a fab piece of kit for after you've been in the water so that you can one, get changed, but also get nice and dry because that's really important when it comes to being able to heat up especially if you're doing a really cold water dip so I'm pushing this all the way down to the bottom where the wetsuit is also hanging out then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my hot water bottle so this is a really small hot water bottle, um, but I love, love having this just in case I need to try and heat up. So I'll put a little bit of hot water in it. Yes, it's a little bit more weight when I'm, when I'm out walking or whatever, but it's so, so good at being able to help warm up your hands or warm up your core. And what's even better is that if it's perfectly in this black pouch here. So this is gonna go in as well down the side. I will probably be wearing probably something to, similar to what I'm wearing just now, which is shorts and a t-shirt. I might also tie a little jumper or fleece around as I go. But then I'm also gonna make sure that I take some trousers with me. I'm gonna roll them up. I'm also gonna take a thermal top because at the end of the day, there's nothing worse than going in swimming and getting way too cold and not being able to warm up. I'd rather have enough clothes get really, really warm and then take them off and be safe than not have enough clothes. So this is also going in. I've also got another thermal fleece that is going in the bag. Putting them down in there. I don't have any with me right now, but a good pair of fluffy socks and a lovely pair of gloves would also go in this bag. I'm currently in London where it's roasting, but back up in Scotland, I would definitely put socks and gloves in the bag. I may even have my, my neoprene gloves, boots and cap. Again, I don't have them with me, but they would be going in the bag with my wetsuit. So the next thing that I'm then going to do is put in two hats. So I would usually already be wearing a hat, but if not, I would always take two at least because there'll probably be somebody out there who you're with who needs a little bit of heating up and a hat is amazing to be able to do that. People always take the mick off me when I go into cold water, especially in a nice pot, go, oh, I'm glad you got your hat on. But at the end of the day, having a hat on will keep that heat from escaping through your head to keep you warm and keep the body cold if that's what you desire. However, after you've been doing your open water swimming, you wanna make sure that you put a hat on straight away. So I always take a spare hat with me because I just think it's so important. So that's going in the bag. So my swimming costume is gonna go into my side pocket here because that is going to drip dry as I'm going. The wetsuit is a little bit bigger. So what I actually do with that is I put the wetsuit inside of here after I've been swimming in it. So it keeps the wetsuit water from going over everything else in my bag. Now the reason that I put my swimming costume in the side pocket here is that quite often I'll be out exploring and I'll see another little river or I'll see a little waterfall that I would want to dip in that I wouldn't want to put my wetsuit on for. But easy access to my swimming costume means that I have the option if I so desire. The bikini is just an extra if I decide that I want to use that, if it's an extra sunny day. So I'm gonna put that in here at the moment. I'm also going to 
put in my goggles and cap into here and I'm gonna roll this all the way down. You can, if you want, put your wetsuit in here. It's totally up to you. Also, toe float is super, super important for health and safety when you're going out swimming. Even if there's nobody else there and you think, oh, well, nobody needs to see where I am for a boat, etc. It means that if you get into trouble, you can hold on to it if need be and call for help and people will be able to see you better if need be. The toe float, cap and goggles are going in the bag. Now we have probably one of the most important things, food. So people often don't realize how much energy they expend when they've been out swimming or in cold water. So I always make sure to have something like an apple. Um, I'd usually take a banana, but I don't have any right now. I've also got little sweeties. Some people also like to have a bit more of a sugar, sugar rush. Then I've also got some, some raisins and some chocolate. I also recommend some nuts as uh, they are also very yummy as well. You want something that's really easy to be able to, to get in there. And I'm gonna put them into the back pocket here so they're easy accessible for when I'm hiking or when I am just walking to wherever my destination is. So they are gonna go in that easy access pocket then we have my flask. Now, if you know that it's gonna be a really cold day, I would recommend putting some hot water into this. It means you can put it into your hot water bottle if you want to use that for a little bit more heat. You know it's gonna be a really hot day, fill this up with cold water and use it to be nice and refreshed. Now this is gonna go into my side pocket. Fits in perfectly, and if you wanna make sure that you don't lose it, you can also strap it in there once you close your bag. To make sure it's not gonna go anywhere if you're doing anything super adventurous. Now, the last thing that we have is the changing rope. Now, if it's gonna be a really cold day, you wanna make sure that you take this. Depends how long that your adventure is gonna be, but I always try and take this because I just think it's such a lifesaver, literally. Now, I've actually got quite a lot of space. So you can see I folded this up into a nice little ball. I'm gonna stuff it in. Way down. You can still see there's a little bit at the bottom. I've not packed this very, very well because I could push down a little bit more. But it's just to show you the reality of how much you can actually fit in here. As you can maybe see, there's still a little bit of space up on the top for being able to fold it down to make sure that it is water tight. So I'm going to do that just now. So what I would recommend doing is trying to get both of the bits at the top together. Then you probably want to stand up and push your body weight down and you'll hear the air come out of it. You can hear all of that air coming out. So I'm now going to fold this at least once over. We'll wrap that round so that it is not going to fall out. There, over. Pull this all the way down and there you have it. You've got your bag ready to go for an adventure. And again, I didn't even pack it that well. There's still lots of space here. Yeah, it's a Mary Poppins bag. Now, if you want to, what I would usually do is put my phone, my car keys, my, my purse, some sunglasses, some extra food if you want to be able to get even easier access, a whistle, um, a compass and a map if you like if you're going to go up in the mountains. So yeah, I've not even put anything in here and so you've still got all of this space. So this bag is so much bigger than you think. It has been an absolute lifesaver for me. I use it every single day. It also comes in a black. This is the stone grey and then we have in the black. So as you can see there, all ready to go. So here we have it, the seashell waterproof dry bag in black and in grey stone. So bag is absolutely packed, ready for an adventure. Nice and slick. Now, as I said before, I use this to go to the shops. I use it to go to training. People can use it to go to work. You can put your laptop, all of your work stuff in it, etc. So as I stand here with the bag on my back, I'm going to have a little look at some frequently asked questions on our website. Is it fully waterproof? The answer is 100% Yes, it is waterproof. Second question is, is there back support? And the answer is yes, there is. As I've shown before, there is some mesh with some padding in the back, as you can see here, super, super comfy. And it is also in the straps 
as well. And the last final question is how long will it take for my order to arrive? Now it's free shipping for anything over £75 and it usually takes between two to four working days. So it does not take long at all for our team to send out any kit that you want to get from us at Seashell. So from me and my Seashell bags, thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in another video, whatever that may be. If you have any questions at all, just comment down below or head over to our Instagram or any of our social medias and get in touch. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.